Okay, yeah. yeah. Now recording in progress and it says yeah. recording. Okay. This meeting has been recorded. Okay. Um, yeah, it says recording. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so you were talking before. We were talking about food. Yeah. Oh my God, you can't. Oh my God, so she goes on the counter all the time. Yes. She's such a filthy little creature. <laughs> We're doing this for the purpose of um, just, uh, you know, like logging how we interact and get to know each other, basically. I don't know how to say that. Wakai again? Wakai again. That's a house or a building. And home is... I think weed is how you say How do you home. say it? Weed. Indians who travel abroad, who settle abroad. Yeah. When they say beauty poor, they also just mean, you know, I'm going back to India. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it just means that you're returning back to your family. It's always meant that. And I grew up in the Middle East and then for the longest time, I felt like that I could call that place home. There are all these like rules that are barring me from even really going back, visiting, you know, like. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't feel like I can still call that space home. It's just, it's just like a nostalgic idea of home, but it's nothing else. No, and I've been thinking about what does it mean to like own a home? Maybe because I've been traveling a lot. Yeah, this whole like transient space is also okay. The fact that I'm even in student housing right now, this is home to me. But yeah. it doesn't feel as secure as what it like, as secure as home back in um, where my mom's staying, place that we own of our own. Does it make a difference to you to like own a place as, as opposed to renting one? My mom, kind of like your dad, um, started from the bottom and her goal was to never have her kids be experiencing homelessness in any way, shape or form because she experienced that due to, um, due to domestic violence. She had to leave my dad. I couldn't afford market rates even in the city, even though the city I feel is my home still. Like every time I go to Toronto, I'm just like, this is my home. Um, this is where I'm from. <laughs> Uh, so even though like if I traditionally introduce myself, I say that where I am right now is where I'm from. When I was in Toronto, I would even say that Nipissing is where I'm from. But cool. Toronto is where I really feel like I'm from. Uh, that's where I was raised and it's mostly all that I know. So, so yeah, I feel like it is definitely subjective. The idea of home and then based on what is within a person's means, like renting versus ownership. In Nishnabemo, it would be like in Denda. That means like where I live. Like I would say when I was introducing myself, I would say Nibising Dunjaba. That means where I'm from. Nipising is where I'm from. And then I would say um, Skurundo in Denda. Skurundo is how you say Toronto in Mohawk, because it's a Mohawk oh. word. And mm -hmm. then um, and then that means like it's where I where I live because where I'm from is more about how I locate with the people that I'm connected with because everything is relational for us in our mm -hmm. like in our original way of thinking and knowing and doing and speaking so it's all about where you're like where you're from then you say I'm from Nipissing that's like the nation of people that I come from that's where I locate myself in citizenship I am Purnima. I am Sarah, and this is where we stand. <laughs>